for the last debate, but two Democratic operatives, Robert Creamer and Scott Fovel, were caught on tape um, uh, talking about instigating violence at a Trump rally in Fovel's case. Um, the last time we spoke, you said any violence is unacceptable. Have you looked into whether or not Democratic operatives paid by the Democratic National Committee were actually instigating these horrific uh, actions, these violent actions we saw at Trump rallies? That's, I mean, I'm sure you would agree. It's, it, if that's true, that's really offensive. Well, violence is unacceptable. These individuals no longer have with the DNC. They've never had a relationship uh, with the Clinton campaign. And my understanding is the, ev the uh, events that are referenced happened, I think, in February uh, of last year. They did not have a contract with the DNC until June. But putting all that aside, uh, this, this was, again, a, a video that was leaked out for the purpose of damaging the campaign. It is edited, so we don't know what the full context is. Uh, and there is, there's no evidence whatsoever uh, that we have been able to find that anyone ever did anything like this when they were working uh, for the DNC. But certainly even if they weren't working for the DNC, if they were Democrats and they were instigating violence, this is horrific. It's, it's unacceptable for anyone from either party to do that. But again, no one who was working for the DNC or the Clinton campaign was doing that. This is, again, an attempt by Donald Trump to distract from the real issues of this campaign. He's spiraling after his last debate, and he doesn't want to talk about substance. Secretary Clinton is out there talking about real plans that she has. She's made clear she wants to bring Democrats, Republicans, independents together. She's going to work for all voters in this election, whether they supported her or not. She's going to work for everybody in the White House.